got a puzzle for you guys, and I show this type of puzzle to Neil. Right, talking about practice. You got me, Uncle Kev Dog. You know what I was talking about. So this is a a, a flawed puzzle from my app. This would not appear in my app. The the, the idea would, but not the puzzle itself. This is what this would be considered a flawed puzzle in my app. So take a look. It is White's turn to move. Now I did this with Neil deGrasse Tyson on Friday. So those of you who have seen this before, you know the, the rules. The situation is simple. The black pawns, in our case with Neil, they're stars. The queen is the starship enterprise. The enterprise needs to travel to all those stars, but must go to a star on every single move. Well, in chess speak, the queen must capture a pawn on every single move. It's not obviously a legal setup. It's not a real chess game. It's not real. It's not practical. Okay. Uh, it's just a simple exercise. A simple exercise. The queen has to capture all six pawns in a row. But it's flawed for a reason. All right? It's flawed for a reason. So, first of all, who can solve this? You guys are awfully quiet. I'm wondering if I'm offline or something. Because I'm not even seeing any movement happening. Okay, here we go. All right. So, Kulia, you're still up? Jeez. What time is it? I'm like 344. Okay. Two. So I'm good. All right. Two solutions. Indeed. There are two solutions to this puzzle. And that's why I would never make it, uh, you know, and never just never make it. Never, never, ever, ever, ever make it. Okay. You can stay up a while. I feel you. All right. Here we go. The first part of the solution is correct, is, is only one way, is unique, is what I meant to say. The first part of the solution is unique. And so the solution is, as is pointed out, f5 first, g4 second, g7 x, e5. And now here, white has two choices. <laughs> Coolio, you might have to take a pill to go to sleep. <laughs> white has two choices. White either goes e5 b8 or white goes i mean e8 b8 or white goes b8 to e8 okay so it's actually two solutions the first four moves are necessary and then the last two you can switch back and forth okay queen moves that's right library pawns not moving this is a pawn more puzzle you can see it if you get my app just exclam app in the apps. You'll find the app store. It's a buck 99. Uh, Maurice, it's called Match. It's not a dating app yet. It's Maurice Ashley teaches chess. You check it out. And you'll see what I call skill builders. Skill builders are visualization exercises and ways to build up your thought muscles so you can become a better chess player. All right? And I've got a lot of deep ones. I got a lot, a lot of deep ones. The app has... Some hard ones, but we're adding more soon. And they're going to be like, <laughs> okay, brain busting, for real. But this is a simple exercise. Now, your people are going to be like, this is not chess. Where's the chess position? Where's the chess position? Like, how is this at all related to chess? And, how it, and thankfully, Neil deGrasse Tyson had my back on the stream, and he's like, who cares about those people? All right, this is teaching visualization. He got it. You, teach, you don't move until you see the whole solution. I had students who'd be like, I, let me try this. What are you doing? Don't touch the board. Don't touch the pieces until you look at the entire thing. Visualize it in your head. All right? So you want to visualize it. You don't want to do it. You want to visualize it. Quibs is fierce. Quibs is the, probably the hardest on the whole, uh, the whole skill builders. Quibs is crazy. All right, so now, take a look at this puzzle. I always had it related to chess based on visualization and peace movement. That's, that's literally what I had it related to. I didn't need any more justification to relate it to chess because I knew this is what chess is all about. You're looking ahead and you're trying to find how your pieces move around and connect, right? But guess what? Why did I give you a flawed puzzle? You say, well, what's this, Maurice? It's a flawed puzzle. Why are you showing us a flawed puzzle? For example, I could have taken this, whoa, 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 hey, queen, sit there. 
Why is the queen... Let's just put the queen back. That's interesting. That should not happen. Hmm. Queen is taking over. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, I could have given you this one. Right? I could have given you this one. And now, there is only one solution. There's a reason I put this pawn on the board. And you might be like, okay, so what's the reason? The reason why is I found this puzzle in a chess position. I saw a position that I was trying to do something else, and all of a sudden my brain went, oh my God, pawn mower. This creation of mine to teach my students something way back when, years ago when I was teaching kids chess, was always related to chess in a specific way. Duh. You ready? Y'all ready? Check this out. Check this out. This position. It is Black's turn to move. It is a game between Seaman Furman and Ratmir Holmov. These are two strong players out of the Soviet Union. All right? Former Soviet Union. There's a tournament game they were playing. You look at it, you can say, this is a chess position. Straightforward chess position, no problem, right? In this position, black played knight to d5, attacking the white queen. Attacking the white queen. And white to move, move the queen away. Play the move, queen to g4. It turns out that in this position, white to move had a spectacular winning line. Absolutely beautiful winning line that white missed. What is that winning line? Check it out. White to move in this position should have played the absolutely beautiful rook takes h6 check. Boom! Let's wrap the merch. Boom! Rook takes h6 with check. If you don't have my merch, exclaim merch, hello. All right? What is the deal here? Well, first of all, you must take the rook. Not that you're like, why didn't I take the rook? But you must take the rook. Because if you move backwards, then boom, hit him with check one more time. This time you have to take, and then boom, three boom, boom, booms in a row. You cannot capture, of course, because your king is right there on h8. So... Got to move, and then Matutski, and it's over. It's done. Finish. All right? So you have to take that rook. When we say you have to take the rook, boom, you got to take it. All right, so the question is, what if you take it? What did Furman miss? Well, here's the deal. It's a forced win for White. White plays the pawn mower puzzle I just showed you. Are you ready for this? Check the first move. You've seen this puzzle. King has only one move. Must go in the corner. Check. King has only one move. Can I go back here because it's made on g7? So king has only one move. Has to go to f8. And now what happens? Queen check. Yet again, king has only one move. Has to, has to, has to go on this square. Only move. And now what move? Check. Only one move for the king. Well, the king has two moves, actually. If the king decides to go back where it came from, well, guess what? Check. Hello. Don't move your king away because you drop your queen. And don't block with anything because you drop Matutski on a stick. Aye? And you're done. So that means you cannot go back in your cubby hole. You've got to go to d8. Only move. And now for the final touch. Boom! Queen b8. And when you go back to e7, now finally the bishop gets in on the act and plays this check and your toast. Give me your queen on e8. It's over. The queen will capture this queen no matter what you do. Well, you could throw the rook in the way and allow maiden one if you want to to stop the suffering. Or you could move your king and drop your queen now. And game is over. What path did the white queen traverse after the rook sack? Here we saw a rook. Uh, sorry, instead of doing this move, we saw the rook sack that white missed. White played check. Here, 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 and here. As in this puzzle. Here, 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 and here. Maybe 
if Furman had done some pawn more puzzles, he would have been able to visualize. Oh, wait a minute. It's over. How you like that? The star path. Thank you, Kogan. Uh, that was insanity. But thank you, Kogan, as well. It's a pawn more puzzle. Multi queen move. Now, I've seen this puzzle before. Didn't connect it. Didn't connect this to this. It's the same puzzle. It's the same whole maneuver. Same thing. Yeah. That's why I put the pawn on E8 and made it a flawed puzzle. That's why I made this flawed puzzle. Because of this path. Because I knew this path was coming. That's why I made the flawed puzzle. But because I saw it. Like, oh, snap. This is what's going to happen on this board. Same path. So how can you say puzzle impractical? It doesn't. This would never. This this would never happen on a chessboard. This would never happen on a board. Why are we looking at this? This is not chess. This is not chess. This was not one of the paths from the last stream. If it was an actual star path topologic zero, this would be deep. This would be deep. We, we would we we would that would be too deep. That would be too deep. I got to tell you, that would be amazing. <laughs> That would be amazing. Although, of course, I can probably come up with something. I go find some constellation that shows this exact kind of position, right? That would be that would be some stuff that would be deep. Indeed, it would be deep. But no, this is not a constellation from the last stream. But it could have been. It could have been. I could always just say, yeah, it was. Well, no, because you could just go back to the other one. So forget it. But it could be a constellation somewhere. I guarantee it's a constellation somewhere. Of course it is. Somewhere in the sky, the stars are aligned just this way, right? So don't start some astrological chess business or something crazy like that. Let's not do it, all right? Not, don't blame me for that. And then have Neil deGrasse Tyson hunting me down. All right? But this puzzle, this puzzle is this puzzle. Same path. Same path. Queen doing its thing. Boom, boom. Can you visualize? Can you visualize? Can you dig it? That's what's up. That's what's up. Is that cool or not? So you'd be like, wow, what a great coincidence. All right? What a great coincidence. That's amazing. That's amazing. The queen making all the... But how many positions we have when the queens are making multiple moves and doing this and that and the other thing and that and boom. You know, what... Of course, it's somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely somewhere. Xerxes will go. We do. Now I'm going to challenge you to go find this this uh, constellation that we've created right here. Go find a constellation. And be like, oh, we found some stars. All right, we found some stars. We found a queen, a, a, a chess. We use the chessboard to map the skies. Come on, that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right. So, queen moving this way, multiple moves in a row. Well, let me give you guys a true puzzle. Bam! <laughs> Bam! All right? Now, I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to pretend that I have a chess position that's like this one. Ha, huh, that would be deep. Maybe one day. Maybe. I doubt it. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. But here's a puzzle for you. I'm waiting for Coolio and all of y'all geniuses out there to solve this one. This star chart is deep. This is one of the hardest puzzles I've ever discovered. And I say discovered because I was making up these puzzles myself. And then it was just too hard. I'd take an hour to make a really good puzzle. And then hired somebody to write a program that created these puzzles. And made sure the computer always found a unique solution. Now, sometimes the computer would come up with, the program would come up with like some trash puzzle. Like, oh, that's too easy. It's like 15 pawns on the board. Everybody's going to see it easily because all the lines are there. But this puzzle, but then it would come up with something like, ooh, this one's nice. This one's cute. So it's white to move. White queen. It's, it's a queen because it's a queen. The pawns are not really pawns. They're stars. The queen's not really a queen. It's a starship enterprise. You want to travel to all the stars. But you have to do it one star at a time. You must hit a star in every move. You must take, in other words, in chess speak, you must capture a pawn on every single move. How do you do it? This looks like a hot mess. This looks like a hot mess. It took me a while because I hadn't seen this puzzle in years. And then I looked back at an old PDF that had the puzzles in them. And I was like, ew. 
this is good, this is good. I'm gonna put this in my app. I'm dropping this in my app, okay? This is good stuff. This is gonna go in my app, no question about it. You guys are seeing this stuff original. It is white to move. Can you tell me the first pawn and the last pawn? If you tell me that, I believe you know the answer. First pawn, last pawn. White to move and capture all the pawns. The pawns are not pawns. They don't exist as pawns. They could be chocolate. They could be planets. They could be stars. They could be anything. The queen can never be captured because the pawns are not pawns. They're just sitting on the board. C7 is the last one. Library, well executed. Genius. C7 is the last one. That means that we, we only got like five first ones to pick. And then somebody's going to say one of them. And we're going to be like, you got it. But, you know, now that you already blew us up and pointed out that C7 is indeed the last one, that is important. Neil deGrasse Tyson solved that as well. A pawn that's connected to only one other pawn must be the last one if we don't have access to it first. All right? So C7 must be the last one. Got to be. Only one way to get to it. If you knock... If you knock this out before you knock something else out, like you knock these two out, you're never getting anywhere. Thank you, exceed exception. Loving it, exception. All right? So, you got the last one. Now, can you get the first one and the path as well? 13 pawns, by the way. 13. 13 queen moves in a row. I don't have a puzzle with 13 queen moves in a row, but I'm close. Very close. Very close. I'm going to show you guys after we solve this. Let's see if somebody knows the answer. Graph theory all over again. Okay, it's just a Palmore puzzle. And there's only one solution. You will not find two solutions. So I'm seeing people guess H6, F5, G6. You know what? I don't believe you. Show me a path. Show me a path. I want to see a path now. Because you guys are just throwing it. You know C7 is the last one. There's only five options of other pawns to take. So now I need a path. The pawns don't move. The pawns never move. The pawns are frozen. They're frozen. They're chocolate. They're not pawns. Oh, free your mind. They're not pawns. They're chocolate. They sit there. They never go anywhere. I say chocolate. What would I really want it to be? Plant chips. I love plant chips. Ginger snaps. I love ginger snaps. Yeah, I'm weird. Take those over chocolate. I need a path. I'm saying, right? That's right. They're frozen. They don't do anything. That's it. We're good. Keep going. Who sees it? Capture all the pawns in a row. Ginger snaps. <laughs> Somebody agrees. I love ginger snaps. I haven't bought them in a while, though. Somebody give me a solution. Queen captures all 13 pawns in a row. Pawns don't move. Pawns are frozen. In a row. Work backwards won't help. <laughs> you just know. The hint is C7, but you're working backwards won't help. D2, G2, H3. You got a long way to go. <laughs> you got a long, long, long way to go. Take the black pawn first. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Do I even remember the solution? Would that be messed up if I don't even remember my own solution? I remember the solution. I remember. I remember. I remember the solution. I remember. G6, E8, B5. Are you giving me three? You can't give three. Three does not a solution make when you got 13 pawns on the board. <laughs> what do you... You got you to gotta give me more than three. Let's see. No way, Michiko. Stop. You know there's a solution, so don't say no way. H6, D2, G2, H3. That's only four pawns. I want the whole path now. The whole path. Pilopa, C7 is the last one to take. Yeah, we got it. We already said that. G1 is giving you issues, Kogan. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to check the news. I'm going to check my email. You guys let me know when somebody has the path. All right, I'm waiting. I don't want to just give you the solution and no reason for hints just yet. Whoa, checks and effects just gifted some subs. That's what's up. Much appreciated. Thank you for your generosity. We appreciate it. Can you use Fabi as a lifeline? 
And Bobby's chilling somewhere in the world. Or in St. Louis. Google alert. What's this? Uh, nope. Nothing happening there. Hmm. It was basketball tonight, wasn't there? I'm going to check the NBA scores. I'm going for the NBA scores. Come on, people. Somebody get me to not be doing something else as you guys try to solve this one. Am I allowed to use Coolio? Uh, Coolio is trying to use himself. Wait, wait, we have a string of moves. G6, E8, B5, B1, F5, H3, H6, D2, G2, G1, C1, C7. You are missing A3, Joe. Michiko, thank you for the gift. Joe, La Joe Lariaza, Lariaza, you're missing A3 from your string. I know, right? That's messed up. You're missing A3 from your string. And here's Coolio doing his thing. Michigan again, thank you. Coolio has spotted H6, D2, G2, G1, G6, E8, B5, B1, F5, H3, A3, C1, C7. Coolio, as usual, you're right. Give it up for Coolio, who's a beast at visualization. Absolute beast. Coolio has come up with the solution once again l champ it's missing but coolio killer killer coolio you spotted it a, a true gangster when it comes to these puzzle solving coolio has a special skill all right coolio pointed out you start with eight six you back up to d2 you go to g2 you go down you go up here you drop it here like it's hot you go here you go down here you fly up here, you slip over there, you slap over there, you go down here, and you get your 13th pawn like that. Check it out. We made all the stops. Coolio, the beautiful thing is, you can't use an engine to solve these. You, there's no stockfish solving Palmer puzzles. You got to use your brain, and Coolio rocked it all 13. Indeed, Coolio is a bad man. Coolio is a beast. You feel me? Coolio is an absolute beast for solving this puzzle. Thank you, GM Tranquilizer, for sending your crew here as we do the beastie puzzles on the stream. That was deep, Coolio. That's incredible. It's not just tonight. Coolio, you found a, a side gift you didn't know you had. All I've done is just open up a door for you to go through. All right? I just You just found a side gift that you did not know you had. All right? Don't worry, Yipper, you missed the stream, but you can watch it on replay or on YouTube to subscribe to my channel. All right, again, 13 pawns, 13 moves. Capture them all as they're frozen. And it's not easy to solve this one, but to find 8-6, you've got to pick up 8-6 first. It's not clear you should pick up 8-6 first. That's what's crazy about this puzzle. C7 might be last, but to find this path, all right, to find this, and to come around and to ziggy zag and to come all the way around the board and to find, again, show me you the one and only solution to this puzzle. That's it. The only solution. I know because the program that I asked to get written to create these puzzles, to create these puzzles, the program only created unique solution puzzles. Period. Gangster's Paradise, indeed. All right, so now you've looked at that, you've visualized like Coolio did, visualize, visualize, all right? Coolio, one thing I would suggest is you, if you don't, I've never had a trainer, get a trainer. Maybe that's holding you back and somebody can, you know, stimulate your brain cells to, to be even stronger than you are right now, all right? So maybe, maybe, maybe you made the right trainer even, right? I don't know if you have had a trainer, so... Finding this stuff shows that you do have talent. You have a certain kind of mental talent that you should have been able to tap into by now to get to even a higher level, okay? Just giving that a little bit of advice. Now, we see tw 13 queen moves in a row, and I could keep throwing you guys puzzles all night, but that was not my point. My point is, I wanted to show you that from like I just showed you, the relevance of this kind of puzzle, I'm gonna show you another puzzle, this one. 
This doesn't start the puzzle. This is a puzzle from a real game going old school. We know Tartakova. Tartakova. I'm sure that uh, our Polish friends would be like, say it right, say it right. So I'm not going to worry about that, you know, because uh, I'm from the Americas. At any rate, I try. So take a look at this puzzle. Take a look at this position, I'll say. Uh, Rook H4 was played. Queen takes F5 was played by Black. Queen takes F5. Now, Black is doing okay, as is White. It's five pawns against five. Material is even. Everything is all good. Everything is all good. White decided to not play like a basic move like H3 or a thing like something simple like trading. White decided, I don't know why I can't snack a freebie pawn immediately. That's a pawn. That's a free pawn. Now, this is one of my favorite old school positions. But we just showed the crazy wild puzzle that Coolio just solved. All right? And Coolio says he's, that he's, in effect, only about a 1600. Like, we're not believing that. Coolio has the talent to be even more. But knight takes d6. Boom! Took a pawn. Wow! There it is. Now watch the queen in this position that Savelli Tartakova, or Tartakova, it's a W is a V in Polish, right? So Tartakova uh, does. We saw the queen dance in this puzzle. We saw that queen dance, all right? Now we're going to watch a different queen dance in this puzzle. Watch this dance. It's black to move. And black plays queen g6. The trap for the unsuspecting greedy knight that took the pawn. Now, what's the deal with this move? The queen is not just after the knight. If that's what you thought, then I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. The threat is also a nasty knight to f3, forking king and queen and rook because this pawn is pinned. So that's vicious. That's vicious. A double threat. You always want to make double threats when you play, yeah? Definitely want to make double threats when you play chess. That makes your move stronger. Spice. So white has only one move, and that is rook g4. Only move. Because you're about to lose your knight. You can't move your knight because of knight f3. So you've got to do something to save everybody, and that's the only way is to play this move. So the pin is broken. Now it's black's turn to move. What did the card to card do? Another queen move. So queen's just moving along, moving along. Queen takes that. Rook takes. So the queen, so far we've had the queen do uh, one of these, one of these, and one of these, right? Queen's moving. Queen g4 does not, queen moving off the back rank does not work. Don't move your queen off the back rank. This queen dare not move off the back rank. You're going to get mated. All right? Let's just be clear. This does not work. There's a back rank to worry about, okay? Whoop, and you're gone immediately. So make sure your queen stays on the back rank. That's going to be a problem, and here it comes. Rook g4, queen takes d6, rook g5, and now the move, queen check. Your only move, put your king in the corner. Queen c5 check would have been similar. Actually, queen c5 check would have been faster. Put your king in the corner, and now queen b5. We sit, trip, and now here we come. Queen b5 check. Uh, bring your king back. Check. King in the corner. Whoops. Uh, there's a threat. You can't leave the back row. There's a threat. King g1. Check. Life is rough. <laughs> king goes back in the corner. Yeah, okay. Let's move our queen where you can get taken. Let's see what you do now. What you got? <laughs> what you got? Hello. Party time. Only move. Here we come. That queen is just like a menace, like a snake. S slithering. Here we come. We're coming closer. Your back rank is ours. Here's a check coming again. King over. Check. How many queen moves have we made in a row so far? All right. How many queen moves have we made? King in the corner. And now, bloop, queen 
to d2. And that's it. Why is that it? You can't take the queen. The back rank is hanging. And if you try to keep your queen in the back row, well, first of all, your rook's hanging. So even that silly, like, you know, this move. We're just going to do this. We could also just go take your queen if we wanted to you know, go for this move. But that's all right. We can take your rook and make it resign anyway. And that's game. Why doesn't the pawn move up? Because there was always a threat of check on the back row. Follow it. Follow us now. Follow us. Follow us as we back up. Queen takes, rook takes. Check, king here, queen here. Which pawn are you going to move? Check is threatened. You cannot move a pawn. This is not going to work. Rook check is threatened. You're going to die. You're going to lose your queen. So that's not going to work. All right? Wasn't queen check and queen e3 winning before? Hmm, good question. King h1, queen to e3, queen takes e3, check. Queen to g1, and uh, mm, mm, that hurt. No, no obvious moves. You're going to screw it up. We got to play queen b5, and it's time to sneak, 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 sneak. Queen b5, check. Queen here. Again, the threat is rook f1. No pawn moves, no funky moves. Check. Queen here. Not the proper ladder or staircase maneuver, by the way, because the queen went sideways. Then not only that, queen here. The queen went backwards. The staircase has the queen doing this all day, all day, all day, all the way down. Here, the queen went up the staircase and decided to go sideways and then decided to go down again and then decided to go backwards <laughs> before going back down. Okay, so can we follow, can we trace the path of this queen? Oh, we're going backwards, right? We're going to trace the path of the queen. All right, what I remember is the queen did this. Sorry, let's start even further back, even further back here. This queen went here, then 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 here. Yeah. I mean, what is that? I mean, it all made sense. Okay, great, Gooba. Thank you very much for the subscription. I mean, it might as well have been this queen. It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, this queen was wilder than this other queen here. But still, I mean, geez, it's like, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to Yeah. All because you stole a pawn, by the way. If you just hadn't played knight takes pawn, then everything would have been fine. But. What I'm gonna tell you? How the hell do you calculate that? <laughs> hey, you know how you calculate that? You study, oh, not that one. You study this stuff. The, the Coolio style, the Coolio practice. You get deep into studying these things. Okay, you do the easier ones. You start off with the easier ones like these. Then you go into the deeper ones and then your brain starts going. The question it wasn't losing right away. Queen takes uh this move was just a this move was just equal. This is the problem. That was a blunder. That lost the game. That's the only reason the queen could just be like, eh. The queen set you up, son, to do that, and then to do that, and then the rest that we saw. The knight paid for its transgression. But you see what I'm saying though? This is not this is not something that's that doesn't happen in chess. The staircase happens a lot, multiple queen moves happens a lot and we may just be calling uh we're calling this a a pawn more puzzle and that's how we practice it by the way i can do you guys a better favor than that Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. i'm gonna give you a site i'm gonna give you a site with a bunch of games that have these kind of maneuvers this is like the biggest favor i could do you guys it's called, it's a, it's just, it's, it, I'm just going to give you the site. I'm not going to say anything because there's some issues regarding competitors, blah, blah, blah. But I just want to give you this collection. This collection. This is how I'm ending the stream. With a collection that you're going to love to go over. It's a collection of about 26, it's exactly 26 games with crazy maneuvers like this one for you to review 
in your free time before the next stream. 26 games. Next stream is two days from now. Good luck. But here he goes. Boom! I just gave it to you on a platter. Two of the positions that I showed on this stream so far is here, are here in this collection. You see it right there. Save it. Put it on. You'll see it. The very first one is the one I just showed you right at the very tippy top. Wait a second. Did I go over two in this stream? Mm, no, I only went over one on this stream. I only went over the first one. You guys can take care of the rest. Some good stuff, y'all. Some good stuff to go over. It's right there. I just handed you a gift on a silver platter for you to open up your mind. For you to open up your mind. And see some stuff you may have never seen before. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Boom! Do me a favor. Get my merch. You know, I'm giving you gifts. Do me a favor. Get my merch. You can just get a mug. That's like the cheapest thing on there. 